everybody welcome back to my craft room this is Jill with Angel Creations I'm glad you could join me today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you today um, I had to go out for an appointment this morning and of course like I always say if I have to mask up I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree <laughs> So I did. I stopped into the Dollar Tree and I was pleasantly surprised. The moment I walked into my Dollar Tree, my manager, the Dollar Tree in Dade City, Florida, uh, and the manager there is Jackie. Hey Jackie! She's got the best Dollar Tree around. It's always clean and well stocked and neat and she's just I'm telling you, that girl runs around, runs around, answering the phone, putting stuff out, helping customers. She's awesome. So, hey there, Jackie. Um, but I was very pleasantly surprised because she came running up to me. I'm going to show you the first thing. And she said, oh, we just got fabrics in. She knows I make little masks. Well, I make everybody's masks, but... Let me show you here. I'm making the littles, the children, I'm making them all little masks because they're all going back to school. So this is one of the little masks that I'm making. So um, a lot of times I'm donating these and it can get expensive. So when I can find some cotton fabric, a, 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 um, what do they call it, a square? Uh, I don't know what they're calling it. They just call it craft fabric. But I was able to find three in the crayons. I thought, how cute is that for back to school? I love that. So I picked up three. Now, this will only make two masks. It's called a fat square. It's called a fat square. So um, this will only make two masks. But... For a dollar, hey, you know, it'll make somebody a nice face covering to go to school with. So I picked up three of the crayons. I picked one of these alphabet, like in a children's font. I thought that would be cute too. And then I was, and now when I walked in, she came running down and said, I just put out fabric and I was coming to the front of the store to call you. So, um, I just love that. I love that you were thinking of me, Jackie. Thank you so much. And so I picked up those for the kiddos mask and then I was able to get my hands on, they had plenty, but I only took two of the Buffalo check fabric. Now I might make a mask with this, but I probably will do DIYs with one of them and then um, I make tumblers too. So here's a tumbler. This is what I'm talking about. And I'm thinking about wrapping a tumbler in this. How cute would that be for fall and even winter? Hot cocoa, sweater weather. So, um, you know, when you see it at the Dollar Tree, you have to buy it. It won't be there. And so I picked up two of those because that's and I should have picked up more, but I left some for everybody else. And then the last piece of fabric I found was just a Halloween fabric. And I have no idea what I will do with it. But how cute is that? It's got the witches' brooms and bats and pumpkins and skulls and little faces, some spider webs. So I thought probably should pick that up for DIY too. So I did. So I got seven fat quarters at the Dollar Tree and I am thrilled with it. Thrilled. Thrilled to pieces. Fabric is not cheap and um, like I said, I've been mostly donating on my masks because this is a pandemic and I just wanted everybody to have a face covering, you know. Okay, so now I found, it's kind of a miss. I haven't sorted it. It's too exciting and I haven't had a chance to sort any of it. So I'm going to just keep on going. I picked up two of the footballs. Now, 
I'm not a huge football fan. I like my Patriots. I'm a New England girl. They just lost a lot of their good players. They came over to Florida. I probably won't be watching uh, football, but I don't need to use these as footballs. So I picked up two of these and I'm thinking the possibilities are endless with this. A floral arrangement with the candle hanging, I don't know. I just knew I had to get my hands on two of them so I go ahead and pick up two of those I was looking for the pumpkins now last year the pumpkin form never hit my Dollar Tree and so far it hasn't this year either um, but you can order from DollarTree.com and have it shipped to your store but you have to buy like 12 or 24 of them so I don't need 12 or 24 of anything so I never do that but um, I was able to see the footballs this time so I picked them up but I'm still keeping my eye out for the pumpkin need that pumpkin then I was able to pick up a couple of actually I picked up three of these wooden drawers and they do have designs on them that are cut out but I am planning on turning this drawer around so we don't see this uh, cut out at all and so I wanted three of those to stack. So I picked up three of those for a DIY. And even if you don't want, if you do want to use these as drawers, how cute are these? These pull out, you can keep your little paper clips and thumbtacks or I don't know what you would keep in these. All kinds of little things you can keep in these. But if you don't want it for a drawer, you can take this little drawer piece out and then you have two cubes. You have two wooden cubes that, this one is the same size, but if I was using the inside, it would be a little bit smaller, and you could you could do so many. You could use these and write a word using these blocks. You don't, you have to look at things to be different than what they already are. And I have a great uh, craft to do with these, so you'll have to stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. And also, if you are not familiar with me over on Facebook, you should go over and join me on um, Angel Creations Facebook because I have a lot of fun and do a lot of crafts over there too. So, um, so go ahead on to Angel A N. J-I-L-L -L Creations over at Facebook and check me out. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I was able to find this. This was another uh, wish list I was looking for. I was able to find the red truck. Uh, now this is the garden stake and it's metal and uh, it's adorable. Like I say, just like it is. But I'm hoping I can get the stick off the the back of it and I'm going to do a DIY with this as well. I have so many DIYs to do. I better get on it before it's Christmas time. So I picked that up and then I picked up these um, set of burlap leaves. You get five in a package and these are on the larger size. So um, I thought this would be so cute for a fall idea I have too and they come with the wire in the back so that you can attach them if you want to attach it to a wreath they also or whatever you want to attach it to but they also have this in orange and green i believe but i just like the natural burlap color and five of them, you get five of them for a dollar. And look what size, I mean, that's like the palm of my hand. That's a pretty good size. So again, stay tuned, I have a cute DIY. I am still new at all this, so I am trying to do voiceovers. I was able to do it one time and then I, I don't know, I don't know. I have to have my daughter come check out my phone. I've been asking her for a while. Um, because I just 
it's not working the way it was the first time so I don't know but it's hard to do a DIY um, live because sometimes you have to go outside and spray paint or things take a while to dry and you know meanwhile people don't want to be watching you for 45 minutes to an hour so um, you know I'm, I'm practicing so keep keep watching I'm practicing all right and the last thing I am going to well no there's two things no, I think I already showed you this. I don't know if I already, forgive me, forgive me. I've been doing crafts, I've been making masks, I've been cutting fabric, I've been shopping, and so uh, I don't know if I already hauled this, but I do love it. It is adorable just the way it is, and um, it's always good to have, ooh, excuse me, always good to have these blanks to do DIYs on. So if I hadn't already showed you that, I might have, I'm sorry. I'll probably go back and watch this and say, oh, Jill, you showed them that twice. But I also have hauled the, the uh, gather sign. And today I was able to find the thankful sign. So uh, I was thankful to find the thankful sign. But they also had this in family. So it comes in gather family and thankful it's what I have seen anyway let me know in the comments if anybody has seen this chunky see how chunky it is it could even even sit all by itself as a self shelf sitter so um, I just I love I love these chunky words so I have ideas for this too so you'll want to be keeping your eye out for all those so that is it people for today and I hope everyone is good everybody's well everybody hope I think they're all wearing your masks you know I just sometimes want to go on to a top of a mountain and scream please wear your mask so I don't get locked down <laughs> Because in Florida, it's the it's bad. It's really, really bad. I don't go out um, like unless I have to go to. I have to go to a doctor again tomorrow, so I might check out another Dollar Tree. So you'll have to be watching for that. But I don't go out very often unless I absolutely have to. So we, we can all do our part and get rid of this. But the kids are all going back to school this week. Oh, excuse my yawning. That is so rude. I can't help it. I'm so sorry. Time for some coffee, I guess. But anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Please let me know where you're watching from in the comments. And if you are one of my loyal favorites, you are looking for a word. And my word is going to be box. B-O-X today. If you have watched this video all the way till the end, put that word box in the comments below. And on August 25th, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put this butterfly one in the giveaway. So on August 25th, we're pulling a name and um, you can be entered multiple times. Just watch my videos all the way till the end. That's where I give the word. And if you put that in the comments below, you can be entered into win my Dollar Tree giveaway, which has a lot of good stuff in it right now. So some hard candy, some craft stuff, some home uh, things. I think there's even some personal um, items in there. So it's been really fun. And then after we do that giveaway, I'll start another one. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, please. And make sure you share this with your friends. I'm trying to grow my channel. So if you think that they would like um, to see what I'm doing, then go ahead and share this with your friends. And until next time, everybody be well, wear your mask. Bye now.